Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Now today I'm going to be sharing with you three easy and simple to make vegan meal ideas. Okay so let's begin with my one pot lemon and mushroom pasta. The first step is optional and that is making some caramelized onion. So grab two to three onions and cut those really nice and fine and to do that I used a mandolin slicer. I added a tablespoon of olive oil to my pot first and then once that was hot enough I added in the onions plus a tablespoon of raw sugar. You could also use that water sauteing method that I showed in a few videos. Let them saute for another 5 to 10 minutes, season them, and then take them out, uh, set them aside, and if you want, you can keep them warm in like a low heated oven. Now on to the pasta. Okay, so to the pot, I added another tablespoon of olive oil, waited till it was hot enough before adding in the sage. Once the sage has shriveled down, you can add in some cut up mushrooms. Let those fry off for a few more minutes and then add in the vegetable stock. Let that come up to a boil and then add in the pasta of your choice. I went for this, these thin spaghettis, but you could also do like bow tie pasta or penne, whatever you like. Right before the pasta is done, you can add in some fresh or frozen spinach to finish it off. Season everything with salt, pepper, some lemon zest and some fresh lemon juice. For the vegan parmesan cheese, all you gotta do is throw some ingredients to your food processor. Those ingredients are cashew nuts, nutritional yeast, some ga garlic powder, some salt, and some smoked paprika powder. I love this pasta, it's so good. Next up, we're making some avocado and mushroom quesadillas. The ingredients in all these recipes kind of repeat, but I think that's good because then you can try out multiple recipes and you don't have as many leftovers. For the filling, we're gonna be making just a creamy guacamole avocado cream type thing. So to your food processor, add in one half of an avocado, some lemon juice, some roughly chopped pieces of red onion, a few tablespoons of soy yogurt, some fresh basil, and a couple of spices. Now take two tortillas and spread a good amount of that avocado stuff on one side. Just cover the whole thing. Next up, I added a layer of greens. I quickly sauteed a couple of mushrooms for like five to eight minutes. And this is where I realized it's actually a lot easier to do everything in that pan, so just do that from the start. Also sprinkle over some chickpeas if you like. Some nutritional yeast. And some more of the avocado cream goes onto the other tortilla. If I was smart, I would have chosen to go with smaller tortillas. Mine were really big, so I was not able to flip them in the pan. So what I did was I took it out, cut it into four pieces, and then put that back into the pan. Let the tortilla toast up for another five minutes or so until the bottom was brown, and that's it. The 
This last recipe is a super healthy, comfy lentil bowl. And here's how to make it. We're gonna start by chopping up one onion and one clove of garlic. And isn't that the cutest clove of garlic you've ever seen? For my starch in the rice cooker, I mix together two parts of rice and one part of oats. This time, I went for that water sauteing method, so yeah, you could use olive oil in this case again if you like. After a few minutes, I added in a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. a tablespoon of tomato puree, one can of diced tomatoes, and some vegetable broth. Let that come up to a boil and then add in your lentils. I went for a half a cup of brown lentils and a half a cup of red lentils. Let that simmer for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the lentils are tender. Maybe you need to add some more water in the process. And then in the end, I added some fresh baby spinach and all of my spices. So in this case was some salt, pepper, paprika, and some cumin. And then the last step would be to assemble the lentil bowl. The rice oat mix plus the lentils, some more fresh greens, and also some vegan pesto. You could also add hummus, that would be great. And that's it with the recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know who of you is planning on going vegan this year or even this January, I would love to know, so leave me a comment if that's you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!